The proclamation for this week, by God's grace, is taken from two locations, 1 Corinthians 15, 57 and 58, and then we jump to Hebrews 13, 15. So, um, again, it has been personalized, and uh, we've added words to encourage our soul uh, to confirm what God is saying to us and what we can receive, the promises of God that we can receive, just as the hymn we just sang, that uh, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. So it is a promise that God made, and so the proclamation is also a promise of, we are claiming the promises, we are claiming the deliverances, we are claiming the protection, we are claiming the victories, we are claiming all of the uh, scriptures that God has said, he will give to us because we have been purchased, we have been redeemed, we have been justified, we have been sanctified. And the glorification is when we are in heaven. So uh, right now we are uh, supposed and we should be enjoying all of the blessings and that's why we do the proclamation uh, to confirm what God is saying to us. And we have also been including uh, the A, C, T S, uh, the A, uh, meaning that we are showing our love, our adoration, our uh, gratitude to God. And then the C is when we confess, we say that, oh Lord, uh, please forgive us for anything that we have done. Uh, because of the Lord Jesus Christ, because of his blood, uh, please, uh, you know, uh, sanctify us, basically, is what uh, we mean when we are confessing, because we cannot go to God in sin, and that's why we need to always uh, confess our sins, and when we confess our sins, then that's when we are able to thank him, and say, so thank you, Lord, again, for what you've done, and then that's when we are thankful uh, for everything, and we also... Uh, show our appreciation by uh, also praying for others. That's the uh, the S where we pray for others. We supplicate. We are pleading. We are making requests that God should bless others, our family, our loved ones, uh, the church, the government, the authorities. And so that's what uh, the Lord Jesus Christ prayed when he also made the Lord's Prayer. Of course, the Lord's Prayer uh, others say it's Matthew, uh, the other one says it's in John, uh, you know, 16, 17, but all of them are prayer, so we shouldn't just use one part as a prayer because uh, the scripture is punctuated with the Lord's uh, prayer. So let us now proclaim First uh, Corinthians 15, 57 and 58, and then Hebrews uh, 13, 15. My most gracious, merciful, heavenly, holy Father, hallowed be your name for the grace and mercy that you have granted me and the union to my Lord and Savior Jesus and his blood bought blessings. I bless your holy name for granting me another blessed day. Please, Lord, forgive me for taking the grace of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for granted. But thanks be to my Jehovah God, who gives me the victory through my Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, I will be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that my labor is not in vain in the Lord. Through my Lord Jesus Christ, I shall continually offer the sacrifice of praise to my El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty, the fruit of my lips, giving thanks to his everlasting name. Amen. Amen. Holy, holy Father, Father, please grant me your Holy Spirit's Spirit wisdom, wisdom so I can eagerly offer my daily thanksgiving to you, 
in order to receive more of your blessings in the precious name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. First Corinthians 15, 57, 58, and Hebrews 13, 15. Amen. 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 You may be seated.